Anytime cars and trucks collide, the car is obviously at a disadvantage. But one of the most devastating kinds of crashes is when a car slides under the trailer of a large truck. Our new research shows that many of the injuries and, and deaths that occur in these kinds of crashes could be prevented with stronger underwrite guards. We've studied how underwrite guards are performing in real world crashes and discovered that many are failing catastrophically. The guard bends or it may break away from the trailer, allowing a vehicle to slide under it. Our crash tests demonstrate how easily some guards fail at relatively low speeds. The federal government requires that the backs of semi-truck trailers have underwrite guards to prevent vehicles from sliding underneath them in the event of a crash. Our crash tests show, though, that the standard is not as strong as it could be and as strong as it should be to prevent this kind of underwrite. Cars' front end structures are designed to crush in a way to minimize injuries to occupants in serious frontal crashes. But when you crash into the back of a large truck, that protection only works if the truck's underwrite guard stays in place. The Chevrolet Malibu is a top safety pick. And this is a Malibu after a 40 mile per hour crash with another car. The front end structure has absorbed the crash energy from that. And you can see there's lots of survival space in the occupant compartment. This is a Malibu after it struck the rear end of a trailer with a weak underwrite guard at only 35 miles an hour. This front structure never got a chance to do its work. Instead, the trailer just pushed back, peeled the hood back, put it into the laps of the dummies, and real people could have been decapitated in a crash like this. The Wabash trailer had the strongest underwrite guard in this series. Its guard meets a tougher Canadian standard. This Wabash trailer prevented underwrite when the Malibu struck it in the center where the guard is stronger. But it was a very different story when the Malibu crashed into only the outer end of the guard. The guard isn't strong enough there, and it allowed the Malibu to slide under the trailer, and the trailer ends up back in the occupant compartment. Cars are much more crash-worthy than they used to be, but the federal standard for underwrite guards hasn't kept pace. Many crashes with big rigs would be much less severe with a stronger federal rule.